Okay, Peter Sprague here. We got another video. It's uh, Sunday, March 28th, almost into April. So, what we're doing today is we have a Dell Precision 4700. So, what's going to happen with this Dell Precision 4700 while we're making a video? Uh, okay. This is, I can get it up to the camera up there. You can probably just about make that up. Anyway, so it's a Dell Precision 4700, 15 inch screen. It's got a Gen 3 Core i7 in it, uh, quad core. Nice, nice computer, nice laptop, very nice CPU, okay. Try to get it up to there. Yeah. Doing everything backwards. It's like doing it in a mirror here with this. Doing it with the camera. Okay. So we're going to give this a nice hard drive upgrade. And we're going to upgrade this to a 2 terabyte solid state drive. Okay. Uh, solid state drives have it all over the conventional hard drives with the 5400 RPM, even the 7200 RPM, with the motors and the spinning parts. Okay, this is just all solid state technology. There's no moving parts. There's no uh, read-write heads to move around on platters to try to find stuff. You know, when the read-write heads are spinning around, like the old record players, and they're they're in there, they're trying to read, they're trying to write. And uh, it takes time to do all that. This is just instantaneous. So we're really gonna we're really gonna increase the speed and the performance of this uh, Precision 4700. It's a mobile workstation, you know. It's it's not exactly light, but it's it's a mobile workstation. This is for doing your serious uh, computer work, like your desktop. But then you can take this with you, right? You can do it at the office and bring it home. You can take it with you to your beach house, what have you. It's a, it's a mobile workstation. It's your desktop that you can move, move around. All right, so let's get to it. So this two terabyte is the uh, Mushkin Raw. They've worked very good. I use them all the time. You get them from Newegg. It's like uh, Newegg's house brand, private label sort of thing. And uh, they, these have worked out really well. So let's open it up. I open it with the scissors and it pops right open. There's no fiddling around. Okay. I'm going to get rid of the packaging. You can set the packaging aside and keep it if you want. Uh, in case you have to RMA it. I don't see that happening. So there's a Mushkin label. There's a Mushkin label you can keep. Use that if you so desire. I'm not so sure I'm going to put that on the. Not so sure I'm going to put that on this computer. Okay. So this one came in from the supplier. Uh, it's kind of messy. I was I was getting at the keyboard earlier, so. Uh, the trim bezel around the keyboard that comes off to access underneath the keyboard and you have access for two memory sticks under there my camera's a little bit off kilter from where it normally is okay so i'm going to put this trim bezel back on tight snap it in That'll be a project for another day because you can take this up to you can take this up to 32 gigs of memory. So what happens with these trim bezels when you're taking them in and out, especially this one on the left side, it tends to get compressed down. And let me see if that's happened here. Okay. Let's use the flashlight.
I don't really see where the vessels can press down. I gotta look at it from over here. Now this doesn't seem to be a metal one, this just seems to be just a plastic tab. Yeah. So what's best to do is to pull this out all the way. Or I'll just pull this thing that down. That's how these go in. That's back in. That's back in secure. You look on the sides, make sure everything's tight up against the base. And that's that's back in. This corner right here is where I was having an issue with. It's also very messy. We'll we'll clean that up later on. Okay. You know, it's not refurbished when it's in when it's a mess like that. It almost it almost looks like cigarette ashes. So anyway, let's get back to where we were. I got distracted by that keyboard bezel we have. So, Dell Precision M4700. To get at this hard drive, to get at the back of it, we gotta take the battery out. Right? No matter what, it's a laptop, it's always take the battery out. Okay? If you're working on a laptop, it's always take the battery out. Okay? So, now, underneath where the battery sits, you have two screws. These two screws got to come out. Okay. They look like about five millimeters. There's one. Maybe three millimeters. There's two. Always use a magnetic screwdriver whenever you can. Okay. This just slid back. Okay. Slids back about a quarter of an inch. Lifts out. Okay. Now when you look inside, you have you have two memory slots. One, two, right? I'm not sure how much this camera is picking up. So there's another two memory slots underneath the keyboard. That's what I was looking at earlier. That has uh, eight gigs of memory. This is going to end up having 32 gigs of memory, okay? Uh, four eight gigabyte memory modules. So, and with the Core i7, it can support the, uh, the eight gigs of memory even though it's DDR3. So now to get at the hard drive we have uh, one more screw to get out, okay? There is a down here there's a little screw down here on top of a little sliding mechanism. We're going to take that one screw out, okay? When we take that screw out, <sighs> all right, that's a very small screw. Okay, that one's a a tiny little screw. You might not even be able to see it inside my fingers. It's tiny. Okay, I don't want to lose it. Okay. The one you're looking for. Now, after you check that screw out, that, that just uh, frees up the sliding mechanism. And you just take it and you pull that forward. And you can see hard drive caddy comes right out. Okay. When I got these laptops from my supplier, uh, they came with the caddies, they didn't come with hard drives, which is fine. Okay, once again, we're working on the Dell Precision 4700. Now, here's, here's how I do it. Some of you are probably smarter than me. you got different ways of doing it. But, we got to put this, we got to put this hard drive in the caddy, and we have, we have to have it go in properly aligned, right? 
So what I do is anytime I'm doing a hard drive, especially in a laptop, because you have to see what's going in there, I take a look. Okay, I take a look into the hard drive bay and when I see which way the uh, SATA hard drive is aligned that's how I'll know. So when I look in here there's the wide part and then there's the narrow part on the uh, SATA hard drive. So there's the wide part and there's the narrow part the wide part and the narrow part on the SATA hard drive. So, the narrow part's going to have to go to the right. So, uh, when this hard drive goes in, this hard drive goes in, it's going to go in in this position right here. Now, these are screwless caddies, okay? There's no screws. There's hard drive caddies. So, it just goes in just like that. Okay? Okay, that slides in like that, nice and even. I did one of these last night, and I searched through all my screws, and I have quite a few, and I could not find four screws that were uh, laptop hard drive size that were extra long that would fit into these into these holes. So there is four that are marked H. You know, Dell's pretty good like that. Because if they're for a display, they'll be marked D. If they're for the palm rest, they'll be marked P. If they're for the keyboard, they'll be marked K. So they have they have four screws here. Screw hole openings. And they're marked H. They're for hard drive. But I'm probably going to have to order screws that'll fit those. Okay? So let's put our stuff back. So... What we want to do is we want to we want to lock that slide and latch back down. Okay, so that doesn't come back up. So I'm putting that real tiny screw back in that hole. Okay. Now we want to put our back panel back on. Okay. Line it up. Slide it into place. Fasten it down. With these two 5mm screws. Let's see if they're not anywhere. Uh, I don't see anything offhand. Because Dell usually will say M2.5 by 5 or by 3 or by 8. That's the sizes they most often use. 3 millimeter, 5 millimeter, 8 millimeter. These look to be 5 millimeter. Okay. So now we can just take and put our battery right back in. This battery hasn't been charged yet. It may or may not even be any good. I've ordered all replacement batteries anyway. So now I'm going to plug it in. Okay. These work to take 90 watt power supplies. Now, what we want to do is we want to install windows on it. So, let me get the Windows 10 flash on. Uh, now, if you guys want, at some point I can make a I can make a Windows 10 video on how to make your own USB 
those 10 flash drives for loading and installing with Windows 10. Okay, so let's put this in. I'm looking for the fastest uh, USB port. I'm trying to see if there's a USB 3 port on here. Oh, we have two of them. I don't know how much this is going to pick up, but there's two that are red. Okay. None of the other USB ports are red. So, I'll put a USB flash drive in there. This will go the fastest because it's in USB 3. Now, depending on this BIOS, we'll see. This is a Dell, so I'm going to keep I'm going to keep tapping the F12 to get to the BIOS, and I didn't have it. Okay, this is going right to the Windows, load Windows. So we're installing Windows. We're doing version 20H2, which is the newest official release. There's one other version that's out there, but it's not really officially released. So what happens is uh, it takes a minute. It comes all the way up to the window screen, and then it takes itself a minute. So, now that we're putting Windows 10 on here, the other thing to keep in mind is that this actually had, this actually had Windows 7, okay? So, we're going from Windows 7 Windows 10. So what I do is I have I have Windows 10 badge labels. So dispose of the Windows 7. Windows 10 Pro. Uh, yeah. Okay. Try to put this right about where the Windows 7 was. Okay. Now, why is this in the uh, It's coming up to a the start of our Windows 10. Click on Next. Click on Install Now. Okay, at this screen, I always choose, I don't have a product key. Even though I do, I just want to get right through this screen. Okay, I'm putting on Windows 10 Pro, so I'm going to select Windows 10 Pro. I'm not sure if this light is helping or hurting. I got an extra light on here today. Let me put this down where it normally is. See if you guys can see the screen better. Yeah, coming on. <clears throat> I'm sorry for the interruptions, but I'm I'm no video expert, and I'm trying with this one little old Logitech camera to make it so you guys can see these screens as much as possible. Okay. Software license. You have to agree, obviously. To the Windows license, I don't know what you do anything. Check off, accept the license terms, go to next. We're doing a custom, we're not doing an install, there's nothing wrong with that hard drive, there's nothing, there's nothing to upgrade. We're going to install it on this drive that we just put in. 
a two terabyte drive. Okay. Uh, this will take a little time, but because because we just put in the solid state drive, it's actually not going to take nearly as long as it used to take with a conventional hard drive, like a 5400 RPM. I'm not even close. It's way faster. I'd like to start cleaning this while that's going, but I don't want to disrupt it with these keys, hitting these keys either. Uh, so, what I want to use is Regular, regular hand sanitizer. Okay, that's what we're gonna. That's what we're gonna hit this up with. All right, we're gonna go at it with some tissue. Okay, it's hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizer. Couple jobs of it, jobs of it. And let's get let's get all this dust off of here. So I've just cleaned this little tiny area and is the camera picking that up? Look at that black. Look at that black. This one little tiny area. Now here's something else. Underneath the, underneath the touch pad it's really grimy in there. And it's almost like there's some adhesive stuck in there. So a little more hand sanitizer. You know a hand sanitizer would take uh, dried up bird droppings right off of your, your car windshield and uh, pine sap as well it's very strong stuff so I got the toothbrush here and I gotta go at I gotta go at this this touch pad wow is it good Give it a pretty good, a pretty rigorous scrubbing. Absolutely. Give it a rigorous scrubbing. Okay. Let's take. Let's take some more. Okay. And this hand sanitizer is alcohol based, so it's going to evaporate exactly like rubbing alcohol. You yeah, know, really really getting after this. This looks like a chain smoker on this computer before. You want to talk about cigarette ashes. Wow. Okay. There's This is a good way. This is a good time to get all this done. The windows. Windows are not responding to disturbing the keys. Okay. Now we can also we can also wipe down. with a microfiber cloth we can wipe down that residue that's that's going to evaporate very quickly now now we have a nice looking foam left surface and a nice looking keyboard asking me do I want to quit I hit some key okay so 43% done with getting files ready. Probably what's slowing that down the most now is just the speed of that old USB drive. That's a fairly old USB flash drive. 
not sure of the exact speed of it and uh, probably wouldn't have to update it. So I'm putting away this. I just put away the hand sanitizer. Okay. It's up to 55% of getting files ready for installation. Let's see if we can get this mushroom label on here. Okay. Pull up the custom and all get this nice mushroom technology in there. They're probably going to say, what the hell is mushroom? <laughs> Okay, we're up to 65 percent. <sighs> okay, so we got our i7, core i7 was already came on there, it came with the i7 in it. We swapped out the Windows 7 for the Windows 10 badge sticker. And we've added the the mushkin since we have the mushkin drive in there. So we've cleaned up the keyboard. Now if I hit the space bar, I'm just looking to see if this is a, a backlit keyboard and it's not. So the one I had last night was the, the 15 inch screen. It was the same version of this 4700 with the 15 inch screen, I believe it was the 6700 and it had a, it had a nice backlit keyboard so that one's all done, that one's been refurbished so it's exactly like this one, it's just a, it's just a 17 inch screen with the possible exception of uh, probably has a different video card that one had a nice nice NVIDIA uh, I forget the model number but it was a K K4700M, something to that effect, and it had two gigabytes of, uh, of vi dedicated video memory. So that made that made for a nice uh, laptop. Now let's see. My phone just went off. I don't know why. I just cleared my phone. Okay, folks. We're 94% into getting files ready for installation. Anybody who's uh, familiar with doing a Windows 10 install, you can probably end the video. Unless you want to hang out with me. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to do this to the bitter end. I'm going to run this video until... Uh, the Windows 10 installation finishes and is up and running. So that's always part of a it's always part of a hard drive upgrade hard drive installation. You gotta make sure your operating system is running on the new hard drive, right? Obviously that's critical. So I haven't had any issues with these, so I'll go ahead and jinx myself, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Alright, that part finished. It's done installing features, it's done installing updates. Now it's just finishing up. And then it's going to say hello and, uh, you know, Windows has some important work to do. Yada, 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 so on and so forth. And there's going to be a bunch of questions and I'm always, always, always choosing no. Okay. Select a no to all these different options. You can choose them if you want them. You can have Cortana talking to you, whatever if you want. That's strictly up to you. Okay. So now we're we're technically past 
it technically passed the install point. Now it's just tweaking. Now it's just tweaking the Windows install. So. I hope some of this is showing up on that that camera. Because as soon as it gets past this portion, I'm going to pull that USB flash drive. Taking a little longer than I would expect for it to take with a new solid state drive and a quad core i7 CPU, but uh, not excessively long. of residue on that touchpad. This thing was run this thing was owned by a chain smoking overeater. <laughs> there we go. Alright this should be the final reboot into actual windows already installed and now just tweaking the, the install. It's going to ask about joining the network. I am going to put it on the network because uh, I wanted to pick up the drivers, most especially uh, the uh, video display, the video card drivers, especially if it's got and video on there. Okay, so here we go. I'm in the United States. US keyboard layout. Skip a custom keyboard layout. I'm going to connect to my network. I got a dead key on the keyboard. I'm going to have to address that issue. Okay, so the the N on the keyboard is, is where we have the is where we have the the right action. It's a little funky when you press it down. Okay, I'm gonna pull the USB flash drive. Now it says it has some important setup to do. It's looking around for this new with Windows. Not exactly Windows updates. I noticed the laptops now, as soon as I'm through with them, they want to go do Windows updates. Even though I have the, the latest, latest Windows 10 version on there, they still want to go do updates now. Personal user organization. This one's personal use. Now here, I want to choose offline account. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how much of this you can see. But down in the bottom corner, 
I'm going to choose I'm going to choose offline account, okay? And I'm going to say limited experience. I'm not the owner of the Microsoft account. Okay. The name I always put in new user. No password. Just hit next. All these selections, I'm going to turn them off. I'm saying no. So all these location things, all this stuff that wants to know who I am, where I am. If I lose my laptop, you want to find it for me? Well, somebody else is going to find it before that, and then I won't be getting it back. Okay, so I just said no to everything. Hit accept. Not now. I don't want Cortana to help me. Now when this goes to a customer, they may choose, they may want Cortana. So I just say not now. And then when the customer buys it and they get it, that's going to pop up after they get it in a week or two. And uh, they can choose to use Cortana if they want. Now I'm going to have to address the uh, letter N key. But there's, al there's obviously crap on this keyboard. And, uh, the other thing that I'm going to want to do on that, and I guess I'll do that right now, is get out the rubbing alcohol. Take the rubbing alcohol and get that around that, that light end key on the keyboard as much as possible. Okay, just get that around that light end key. So we'll try to we'll try to let that soak in to whatever's on that key that's stuck okay and uh you don't have to worry about alcohol on electronics parts because it'll evaporate real fast and it'll dissolve almost anything that's in there providing <coughs> providing it gets at the correct spot on the, on the keyboard but right? it may not get into the, the part of the that end letter end key so, ah, on the edge browser, say no, maybe later. Probably asking me to, uh, okay, so it says it's searching for display drivers, that's good. And that was set, the default browser was reset. Well, it's, it's making Edge the default browser. So, what I want to do is I want to go to Device Manager. So I go to Start. I go to Settings. I'm going to enlarge the Settings screen. And then I'm going to type in Device Let's take a look. See what kind of uh, drivers are we're getting this set up. Display adapters right here. Pop it down. It says Microsoft Basic Display Adapter, which means uh, the drivers haven't been updated. So 
my door's right. Update grammar. Search automatically. The best driver is already installed. But I do believe it's going to find different drivers for, uh, for NVIDIA, that kind of thing, GeForce, whatever's in there. I don't think it's going to stay with Microsoft Basic Display. Might go to Intel HD. Okay. So, I think we're going to pretty much leave it at that. The only other thing you're going to do is you're going to activate Windows with your, uh, with your product key. See, this is only, all this time it's only got up to 8% on the battery, so, you know, this battery's junk. Uh, they told me when I was purchasing it anyway. The battery was junk. So, I think the end key is starting to loosen up a little. Alright, so I'm going to close out this video. Thanks for watching, everyone. Happy Sunday, and we'll see you in the next video.